Guess who's coming to the Golden Globes? Julie Roberts, Matt Damon, George Clooney, Robert Downey Jr., Tobey Maguire, Sandra Bullock, Morgan Freeman, Meryl Streep, Alec Baldwin, John Hamm, Jeff Bridges, Kevin Bacon, Penelope Cruz, Glenn Close, Quentin Tarantino, and me, Ricky Gervais. <laughs> you guys have heard of him? <laughs> I'm the host. Ricky Gervais hosts the party of the year, the Golden Globes, Sunday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, on NBC. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Zoe, knee deep in Golden Globes mayhem here, and I'm so excited because for the first time ever, I'm going to present the Fashion Iconic Award to the most stylish male and female celebrities to walk the Golden Globes red carpet. The best part is that you, the viewers, get to decide who the winners will be. Cast your vote this Sunday by going to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Rachel Zoe. It's the only place you can vote. Until then, Send us all of your comments about who you think will win as we gear up for the 2010 Golden Globes Red Carpet Live this Sunday, January 17th. Now and then, we could all use a little break. Comedies and musicals remind us that life should be filled with laughter and song. Chrysler invites you to stay tuned for the presentation of the Golden Globe for Best Picture Comedy or Musical. Hi everybody, I'm Julie Moran and welcome to one of the most famous red carpets in the world. We are one day away from the 2010 Golden Globe Awards. We're live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel with a one-hour special, the day before the Golden Globes. Well done, Winslet. I told you, do a Holocaust movie. The awards come, didn't I? Brought to you by the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills. Hi, everybody. I'm Julie Moran, and it is the day before the biggest red carpet event of the year. Film and television come together. There will be more stars in the ballroom of the Beverly Hilton than anywhere else on the planet. We have got everything for you today. Scoops, gossips, fashion trends, and I want to introduce you to my co-host for this hour. Of course, Jenny Poulos and Taryn Southern. How excited are we? We we're are so excited. excited. Yeah. I don't know if we're as excited as all those but guys out there getting ready behind a lot of us. Workers. You can see everything happening. As all right, I want to know, where are you going to be? All right, I will be in the one-on-one -on -one lounge, actually inside the Beverly Hilton, right behind the stage, waiting for people to, to come in off of the red carpet and talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. And you've got a lot of cool guests, like fashion experts, film critics. Yeah, we'll be talking to everybody, getting the inside scoop on what they think, who's going to win, what people are going to be wearing. And Jenny, oh, zesty Jenny, she's always got something. Where will you be? I'm going to be with you guys, with the fans, in the bleachers, watching everybody arrive. So excited. And uh, you can write to us on Facebook, which is really exciting. This is going to be an interactive next two days. So we are, we're jazzed and uh, can't wait to see what's going to win Best Picture. A lot of Avatar people out there, but, you know, it's a close race. And so many categories. Also, remember to communicate with us. We have Brandy and Randy from Facebook. You can talk to them. You can talk to us. Tell us what questions to ask the stars. This show is going to be fun. But right now, we've got a guy. We're three girls and a guy. He is amazing. His name is Caduce. He's the Beverly Hilton Insider. And Caduce is always on the loose. Caduce, where are you? I'm here in the kitchen of the Beverly Hilton with Chef Suki, who has got his team Pretty chill right now, but tomorrow it's going to be crazy in here. Am I right? Absolutely. Um, you know, we are we doing every year. I mean, we expected total covers probably six to seven thousand. You know, the covers we have to do yeah. meal. Yeah. And so um, it's going to be something. You know, because I'm going to be a, a traffic you know, controller mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and, and so it's going to be a lot of action. I hear deep breaths work really well. That's my tip. All right, we're going to send it back to you guys now. Caduce, you're making me hungry. I don't know about you guys. I always look forward to the food. Me too. Food's my favorite thing. <laughs> well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of that at the Golden Globes as well as champagne, which I'll be toasting backstage at the one-on-one -on -one lounge, and I'm very excited about that. We're now on the 67th annual, so it's been running for a long time. But i got to say, you guys, my favorite part of the award show, it always has been, 
has been the style, watching people come down the red carpet. And with me here today, I've got four amazing fashion and style experts. Please, it is my pleasure to introduce fashion designer for the Lord's Label, Nabil Jaber. Hello. Thank you, Nabil. I've got the CEO and founder of BB, Manny Mashouf. Manny, thank you for being here as well. Thank you, Tara. And wardrobe stylist, Rebecca Prevo, as well as the CEO of LA's largest style house, chic little devil, Michelle Wendell. Thanks, Tara. Thanks, You've got Tara. some diamonds on, girl. Yeah, they, they blinged me up. Vin Lee put me in $3.5 million worth of diamonds. I've never felt so expensive in my life, and I'm wearing over 250 carats. So. Okay, well, I hope you have a very good life insurance policy. <laughs> I hope so, But we're going to get back to those jewels in a little bit. Let's sort of just talk overview for right now. Mm. What's going to be hot this year? What are we going to expect to see on the carpet? You know, uh, let's talk to you first, Manny, as, as far as just dresses go. Obviously, you've been doing a lot many, for many years with BB, so talk about what we can expect this year on the carpet. I think we're going to see um, a lot of exciting things, very couture orientated. We're going to see a lot of uh, body conscious, sexy, long, shiny, in bold colors. Mm -hmm. I think the silhouettes are going to have a little bit of maybe some with lace trim, sometimes even with cutouts. The shoulders are big. It's going to be a lot of décolleté silhouettes we're okay. going to see. Well, and what we will be having a fashion show very soon to show off some of these styles. Nabil, what would you say is out? What, 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 is, what are some trends that we've seen in past years that you think will not be present on the, on the red carpet this year? What I think we see is like we've seen the fashion transforming into more fitted, more structured, showing their body. They've been, it's, it's, it's an organic movement. It's a body work, it's a physical shape. So they want to show those bodies in men's or women's, both in a sense. So you're going to see more structured looks, more physical shape showing in both sides, men's and women's. So it is the year of sexy, is sexy what you're saying. It is the, the year way. of sexy. I like it. We're bringing show the sexy waist, back. Show the legs <laughs> and show the curves. And what about you girls? What are we going to see as far as accessories this year? Well, bling is never going out of style. We're always going to see some heavy duty in the departments of Vin Lee, Neil Lane. Um, gosh, all, all the big jewelers are always going to be present. And I think people are steering away from traditional and they're going with more like long strands of small diamonds instead of big, chunky, short length necklaces. All right. Well, we've been talking about it. I'm ready to see it. I don't know about you guys, but we've got five fabulously outfitted models here with us today. They've been outfitted by BB, thanks to Manny. So let's bring them on out here right now and see what's going to be hot this season. Manny, while they come up, I'd like for you to talk a little bit about the mm -hmm. outfit and what we're seeing. All right. This is Luba. She's wearing an asymmetrical, um, uh, asymmetrical hem as well as the neck and it's uh, fluid and sexy at the same time. It has a little bit of a corset effect, and uh, it's a new lens. Uh, we're gonna see some of this new lens on the red carpet tomorrow. And of course, black is timeless, and it's always there and will always be. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is this, very colorful. This is Kelsey, and she's wearing an uh, uh, Italian uh, stretch satin and it's very close to the body, very sexy with interesting panel wars with a little bit of a mermaid look. And the color is, of course, is my most favorite color for this year is the turquoise. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. I like it. I like it. And now what are we seeing? All right. So this is Nicola. Nicola is wearing a combination of silk chiffon and jersey combined with some glass uh, stones in gold and it has a little bit of a trailer and it's very elegant and I again love the low neck. a lot of skin beautiful neckline and look at the back wow this and is, next and up next one is the influence of lace into body conscience dresses they are very structured, very architectural, and sculptured. Mm -hmm. So, and this is purple. That is also a new, beautiful color. I love the color. dark, bold hues. Now we're on to the men. Sexy, sexy. Nabil, oh. how about you talk? After seeing this woman, I'm supposed to say, my God, <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> no, we have here a three-quarter jacket. It's very fitted. It's uh, double-breasted, basically. It's uh, super 120. 
and with the fitted bands with a stripe basically. I like we have the here a suede top, a cotton shirt, a lot of piano fabrics basically. Again, I use the stripe in a sense, I think it's a nice combination and it's elegant and it's fun at the same time. We like to break code, codes across borders between formal and informal both. I and noticed that both love. of them had pinstripe pants, so yes, I would that's love a popular. Pinstripes. Yes, we love pinstripes. We play with pinstripes all the time. Great. All right, well, that's our first five models. We saw some great style out there. That looked fabulous. And what about you ladies? What would you have paired with those dresses? Well, you know what's really coming in right now is not just the colors in the dresses, but also the colors in the jewels. You can do the nice big stones in aquamarine, emerald, ruby, canary diamonds, purple, brings the amethyst, bring some of that color into your jewelry as well. And it's, it's about statement pieces, necklaces, earrings, um, you know, don't be afraid to go big with your pieces. Well, and diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> always will be. You have over two and a half million dollars of jewels on you right now? Yes. It's a good feeling. How do you walk around? I, I would be so scared. I'd be like worried yeah. about someone taking I them feel, off of I feel paranoid, no doubt. Net. I'm looking for snipers on the roof, but I also feel just special and honored that Vin would let me wear these. I you feel great. You look gorgeous. Thanks. You look gorgeous. How much does that weigh? Is it, is it fairly heavy? Um, this is Oh, the, the actual weight, I know the carat weight is over 100. It's not heavy though. And what I like, you know how bracelets can tend to slide down on girls with small wrists like us? It's really petite. It doesn't, it's good for a little wrist instead of being overwhelming. Wow, well, that looks gorgeous. So we just saw some popular looks for the red carpet, but as we know, the Golden Gloves don't end at the, at the show. There is an after party that happened, actually, many after parties that happen after the Golden Globes, and a lot of the celebrities like to change and get into something a little more comfortable. So what can we expect to see at the after parties this year? I think after party, we're going to see some short dresses. Mm -hmm. uh, I think especially the younger celebrities are going to be wearing more short than long. And it's going to be very flirty and sexy and also glamorous. Well, we have another fashion show to prepare for that. Are, are our models ready? Do we have models ready? Manny, tell us about our first model that we're seeing here. Okay, this is Luba wearing a very organic style, close to the body, sexy with ruching and lace trim, asymmetrical neck, very sexy. I and love And black, the lace. timeless black, as usual. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you very much. And our next model, if you can tell us about this dress. I love this. It's very vintage. This is Kelsey. And uh, it's a tulip shape. Again, very organic and bustier kind of corsetti kind of feeling with embellishment. Red, beautiful red. Red is going to be very big tomorrow. And I think that uh, it's not just going to be on the red carpet either. Thank you We're going so to see much. Lots of red. Look it is, her. and the pleats really help yeah, add to that vintage, vintage feel. Vintage oh, I love feel. this dress. Tell this me about this. This is a very flirty uh, organza, silk organza from Italy as well, with a little bow. It's very girly, flirty, and young, and uh, a lot dress. of energy, mm -hmm. a <laughs> lot of movement, and a very nice sexy. 1950s look as well. Thank yes. you so much. And our last model here, what is she wearing? There's another red, very uh, close to the body. Again, body conscious, sexy, uh, pieced together like a corsetti kind of a dress. I love that. Very, very sexy. Now, I don't know if our men are ready. Are our men ready? All right, because no. obviously the girls aren't the only ones bringing sexy back. Now, the men are designed by Nabil, his Lord's label. And we're all getting served champagne because, of course, this is, this is after party time. After party time. Thank you to Moet for the champagne. Let's talk, about the, uh, let's talk about this, Nabil. Cheers. Nabil, cheers. Can you cheers. 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 Nabil, if you could talk to talk to us about what what this gentleman yeah, is wearing. Like a deer skin jacket. It's a cognac color. It's like a rock rock a motorcycle blend thing. And we got like a denim that's very fitted with a gothic knee. Love uh, it. It's very like rock and roll. Uh, rock and roll all the way. And what about our second Sorry. model? And this we got like uh, a ruffle shirt and we got a white. Uh, jacket over it it's a leather also and we got a denim pants under so you basically can look casual and still look elegant at the same time 
There's a little bit of a retro look to it as well. Yeah, should have done his, he looks uh, like an pants. Italian stallion. Yeah. Uh, he is blah, blah. You know. <laughs> I like Thank that you very, very much. <laughs> Both the ladies and the men, you guys saw it right here. That's, that's going to be some of the looks that we'll be seeing at the after parties tomorrow night. Nabil and Manny, thank you. Thank you so much for supplying for supplying the clothes and they're wonderful designers. And where can we find uh, you at Nabil? What's your website? At LordUSA.com. Okay, so you guys know where to look for Nabil's fashions, and of course, you know where where to find BB as well. Thank you too as well for being Thank here you, with Karen. us. We appreciate it, Randy and Brandy. Fun. We want to find out what everyone on Facebook is saying. Who do you think is going to be the most well dressed tomorrow night? What are your favorite fashions? What would you wear if you were here at the Golden Globes? Well, you can tell Randy and Brandy on Facebook, Facebook.com/slash Golden Globes. Randy and Brandy, what's everybody saying? They are literally hammering the red carpet down behind us in a huge circle except for the blue part where Facebook will be tomorrow. That's right. We will be, I will be with Julie Moran on the blue carpet tomorrow taking your questions. So we're, we're really excited to be here. And, uh, and we're live right now on Facebook. So post your questions. And we might read some stuff right now. But let's talk a little bit about fashion first. Ooh, awesome. So, well, we just saw a gorgeous fashion show with stunning models. And uh, who are you wearing? That's Ooh, pretty well, cute. Well, thanks for Get asking. Up. I'm wearing. I, I was styled by Chic Little Devils, and uh, they did a fantastic job. It's it's been really fantastic with the whole stylist experience. So you had a little bit of a back behind the scenes little glitch. I that did. You tell I us about? experienced the red carpet firsthand. The backstage. I almost came on here without a dress because the, Leona Lewis had a fashion emergency and they had to rush off to her aid. So, but you look ravishing as well, Brandy. Who are you Thanks, wearing? Thanks, Randy. I'm wearing something from Rent the Runway. If you want this look, you can also go to Rent the Runway on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Rent the Runway. Thanks, girls, for giving me this beautiful outfit. Now, people on Facebook are so excited about the fashions that we're gonna be yeah. seeing, and this is a prime spot tomorrow to see the people who arrive on the red carpet and get the first glimpse. Yeah, definitely. And Rachel Zoe is with us tomorrow to present the Fashion Iconic Award. Great, thanks so much, back to you guys. Thanks. Brandy and Randy, you guys are the best. You are always in the know. Thanks so much for keeping us updated, and fans, People, keep contacting us. Keep sending in your questions. But right now, we have an amazing panel. I have some very, very special guests for you. And this one sitting right here, you've read so many things he's done. He is a writer extraordinaire, film, television, Arthur, and this is Tom O'Neill, of course. We have entertainment guru right here, TV and film, Stuart Brazel. And we have our psychic to the stars, Sloan Bella. Let's get right to it with the big category, Best Picture Drama Predictions, Tom. Avatar, which is really strange because normally they don't go for the sci-fi popcorn pictures here at the Globes. They tend to be very artsy. Look, Babel won recently, Atonement did. Right. But I think it's all about Avatar this year. Stuart? I am so loving and glorious bastards. I love Quentin Tarantino. The film rocks my world, but I'm with Tom. I think Avatar will bring it home. The huge commercial success, the years in the making, James Cameron, Avatar. Okay, Sloan, what are you okay. feeling? What are you okay, feeling? What I'm feeling, I'd like to go against everybody, but I have to say Avatar, and I think it's going to be a big thing between that film and his ex-wife in the next category. So I think they're going to do one for one. That's well, what then, I think. Let's go right to Best Director, because we've got a battle going on, James Cameron, of course, and, and he's up against his wife. What do you think? ex-wife. 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 Even more fears. Let's make sure we comment that. Yeah. <laughs> we what do you think in the Best Director category? Well, this is what's interesting. At the Oscars, normally they match up picture and director. Right. Here at the Globes, they normally split. So if you're going to go for Avatar for director, you really should pick somebody else. Uh, I think Catherine Bigelow is a good bet because nearly half of the, of the voters are women. And I don't think a woman's ever been nominated, at least recently at the Globes. Yes, you're right. And especially a woman directing this action movie. It's, I watched Hurt Locker and I go, Oh, she is badass yeah. behind the camera. <laughs> but I, I'm going with Quentin Tarantino. Okay. I loved and glorious bastards. I'm Quentin Tarantino, 100% best director. Sloan. Okay, I'm going with the ex-wife because we always get even, don't we now? That's right. <laughs> oh, I'm going even. with her. Always. <laughs> well, moving into a great category, two great categories, actress categories. First of all, let's talk about best actress in a musical or comedy. We've got Meryl Streep versus Meryl Streep. 
And Meryl Streep's going to win because they love her here for at the Globes. She's going to win for Julie and Julia, definitely. What do you think, Stuart? That movie, delightful. I watched it on the airplane. I watched it in the theater. I watched it on DVD. Meryl Streep for Julie and Julia. Sloan? Okay, I have to agree. I think it's just her time. It's always her time, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like but her she time. channels uh, Julia, Julia Childs. Child. And so yeah. I, I, it's I, a fabulous movie, and I think she should win for it. But I think it. Sandra Bullock is going to give her a run for her money for the proposal. This is Sandra Bullock's year. She's nominated twice as well in well, two different categories. Let's go right to that category. The blind side, Sandra Bullock, yeah. she's never won. What do you think her chances are, Tom? They're very good. The thing that the Globes don't do is go for newcomers generally. But I, and so if I were betting my ranch, I might put it on uh, Sandra. But since I'm merely betting my reputation, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to go for Gabby City Bay in Precious because sometimes they go for the gut-wrenching performance like Brenda Blethyn in Secret Lives. Yes. Stuart, what do you think? Carrie Mulligan for an education. Oh, I, she blew me away. She was fantastic. I love everything about her. Definitely Carrie. I'm going to go with Gabby, too, because I, well, the public sometimes likes good things and bad things, but that movie's so intense, they're either going to love it or hate it. So she's either going to make it, and I'm going to say she is. As a psychic, how do you come about your predictions? Do you feel things? Do you get <laughs> things? Or what? Oh, I feel everything. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel them and I hear them. What's so interesting right now, though, is the energy's really wobbly in the world. So I kept going, jumping back and forth. So I'll kind of meditate on it and, and the name that pops up. And I'm like, wait, wait, no, no, no. So it's it, there's, it's in a run. They had a hard time deciding. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they knew when they were picking whoever votes. I think they changed a lot. They I did. I feel it wobbling. You can feel wobbling, it wobbling. wobbling. Wobbling, yeah. Let's move into the TV world for a second because this is such a great show because you've got film people and TV people and no other award show really captures that. Like this show. What do you think for the big category there, best show drama? Well, what's interesting is you know, they're, they're snobs here, just like they are at the Emmys. <laughs> but uh, and so that means Mad Men would probably win. But what I think is great is Anna Paquin won Best Actress last year for True Blood. They love HBO shows. I hope they give it to True Blood. If I were putting money down, I'd say Mad Men. Really? What about you, Stuart? I'm obsessed with vampires. <laughs> if there's a vampire in something, I love it. So I want True Blood to win, but I have a feeling that Mad Men will take it home. Mm. You have a feeling. Uh, tell me, girl. <laughs> She's encroaching on your territory. I'm okay. feeling your energy. Okay, I can feel it. Um, I would think Mad Men would win, but psychically, okay, I'm going to say something so bizarre. Dexter. Wow. I don't know why. That's just what hits my head, and I can't get it out of my head. It could be a blonde thing, but really, I get Dexter. Just quickly, I want to jump back to a, a male category in film. What do you think the chances? Robert Downey Jr. has never won. He's had so many great performances. Does he have a chance in Sherlock Holmes for Best Actor Comedy? He really does. The problem there is it's not an, an actorly performance. It doesn't have a lot of gravitas. Mm. We're talking about Sherlock Holmes. He could do it. Wow. All right, well, right now we have a fabulous, zesty gal. Her name is Jenny, of course, you've met her earlier in the show, and she went out on the streets of L.A. to find out what the people think. Hi, guys, I'm Jenny Poulos, and I'm here at Universal Studios Hollywood at the mecca of film and television. This is where the magic happens. And let's see what people say about this year's magic and the 2010 Golden Globe Awards. Who will win Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Television Series? Let's find out what the people have to say. I don't go to movies that much, but lately I've been going because there's been so many awesome movies that have been coming out and been nominated. A golden age again. Uh -huh. What was your favorite movie of the year? Avatar. Avatar. Precious. Precious. Oh. I don't know, man. The Hangover? That was good. The Hangover. Okay, the that's hangover. nominated. The Sleeper Hit of the Year. There's a few other ones I like, but I just can't think because I'm so excited. Well, you are precious, and you, I'm serious. Who was your favorite actor? Brad Pitt. Monique? Monique. Monique! In Avatar. I forgot his name. Who's in Avatar? Oh, Jamie Foxx. Mm -hmm. Blame it on the out, out. The guy from Avatar, you could see him in 3D. It was great. George Clooney. George Clooney. Meryl Streep nominated. Uh, Julie and Julia, yes. Julie and Julia? No. Yes, yes, yes. She was an amazing Julia Child, right? She is the best actress to walk the face of the earth. She's good. She's okay. Do you like TV? I like basketball. The Office, 30 Rock, Glee, Modern Family. Modern Family, actually. Modern yeah. Family. Any of those? Not really. Yeah, Dexter, definitely. Dexter. No. Dexter's no. good. Now, that doesn't mean that you like some weird things, does it, Chris? Well, I don't consider them weird. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half men. Oh, nice. 
Nice. What about you, Silvio? The same. Two and a half now. So you say everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you watch Glee? No. You probably wouldn't admit that, right? If you did. Probably not. But Glee was awesome. How about True Blood? True Blood, yeah. Finish my sentence. Cloudy with a chance of. Meatballs. Meatballs? <laughs> meatballs. Meatballs. We're going to be precious together. Watch That's the Golden, Golden Globes, Globes Sunday, Sunday, January 17th. What do you got going next Sunday night? What, what does he got going next Sunday night? Well, we're going to see a glo global. The Golden Globes. Global Awards, right. yes. On NBC. NBC. Watch the Golden Globes Sunday, January 17th on NBC. Jenny, you look great running through water, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I want to thank this panel. You guys are amazing. We, of course, are going to see you tomorrow at 2.30. We'll see if your predictions were right. We'll see what happened. And we want you at home on Facebook. We want to know what you think. We want to know who you think is going to win. So we can all communicate. It's going to be great. And we look forward to having you back tomorrow. But right now, we've got a fabulous guy. He's Caduce on the loose. He's the Beverly Hilton insider. Caduce, where are you now? room of the Beverly Hilton where the big show is happening all the celebrities are gonna be sitting down just over there but right beside me is Barry Edelman the executive producer of the big show good luck tomorrow you're gonna to need it. it's a big big show right now everything is an emergency everything's a crisis including this interview because <laughs> if I don't finish this interview right away there's gonna be five more crises waiting outside that door well I'll let you go thank you for your time I'm gonna send it back over to you Thank you so much, Caduce. I don't know how Barry is still standing. He's one busy guy. But you know what? We want to check in with Brandy and Randy. We want to know what you guys are thinking, what you guys are talking about. Our Facebook page is lighted up. It's a blaze. So Brandy and Randy, what are folks chatting about? Thanks, guys. So if it was up to the Facebook users, who is going to vote and win tomorrow? Who do you think would win for best film, Randy? Well, for best drama, if Facebook had to vote, Avatar would yeah. win hands down. There's uh, over a million people on the Avatar fan page on Facebook. Over the last four weeks, the status updates have been out of control. Avatar mentioned more than any other term. It was a spectacular movie. Technologically, I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. So it's no wonder the users on Facebook That's want right. that. That's right. Plus, people love seeing Zoe Saldana in 3D, so that doesn't hurt how, either. <laughs> how could you not? How could you not? What about, what are you seeing for television on Facebook? Well, everyone on Facebook obviously is big fans of Entourage, mm -hmm. over half a million fans on their page. We love Jeremy Piven, of course. Yes. Um, and also, my favorite that I always talk about, Mad Men, quarter of a million fans on that page, and John Hamm is up for a nomination. I hope he wins. I also have to give a special shout out to the movie The Hangover. I think if there yep. was any movie in any category of the Golden Globes that Facebook had to vote for, The Hangover would just take it all. That movie got so much buzz online. Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow it starts That's at 2.30. Right. 2.30 and we are going to be live until the stars stop partying tomorrow night. That means we're going to take you everywhere behind the scenes. VIP access on the red carpet. Great. That's right. Off the it's red carpet. Every party and uh, we're looking forward to it. Back to you guys. Thank you so much Brandy and Randy. Thank you for the update and don't forget everybody out there write in. We want your questions. Who's going to win? What are your predictions? Write to us on Facebook. We've got two days of excitement and let's see how to really get a party started because I am here <laughs> with Steve Kemble, lifestyle guru and party planning expert and Julia Fitzroy of and I learned how to pronounce it Moeda Chandon. Oh, I okay. love that. Right. Oh. Is that right? I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> Say and that again. Moeda Chandon. Oh, that's uh -huh. oh. Try that at home and yeah. you're going you're to get lucky. <laughs> After a bottle. Uh, yes. <laughs> so we have here the hottest behind the scenes gift bags. We're going to talk about after parties. Steve. Let's start with the gift bag. Aren't we these have, fabulous? Yes. And we have a Junian Burke for the ladies. Toomey for the men. Both founded in 1975. Way before any of us were born. Exactly. <laughs> Don't even remember. Yeah, aren't they incredible though? So yes, they get these, and they're filled with all kinds of goodies, all kinds of cosmetic goods. They've got books in them. We've There's got fashion books. Everything. Chocolate. Chocolate. It's just, it's wonderful. And the celebrities love getting these. You know, they really do. But these are two great, incredible products, and I just love them. And since you are the guru, since you are the god of after parties, yes. What what can we expect? What's oh my hot? Gosh. 
Uh, the after parties are always amazing at the Golden Globes. I think they are truly the best after parties of any of the awards show. I was just out by the pool. HBO is setting up their party. They're going to completely cover the pool. They're putting a floor over the pool that is just going to be amazing. fabulous. There's like men in there in like scuba suits, and they're like <laughs> diving down and setting all this up. Warner Brothers in style is having a huge party right here the in the Weinstein Oasis. The Weinstein Company yes. always says Trader oh, Vic's, fabulous. so that's going to be exciting. There's like six or seven parties. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, how can we ignore this gorgeous, beautiful, woman in front of us that provides where the magic happens. This is the Magnum, by the way, and that's nice. That yeah, is they, a nice. <laughs> now, how many Magnums are served, Julia? Talk to us about that. This is our Magnum bottle, and it's equivalent to 12 glasses of champagne. Oh, wow. So you'll see these inside the awards. They'll be free-flowing all night long. So... Sounds like it's going to be And what be do you think? Party. Are you excited for tomorrow? I am excited, yeah. Who do you think is going to win Best Picture? Uh, Hurt Locker. Wow, we got a Hurt Locker. Oh, wow. We got a Hurt Locker. Have you seen the movie? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> now, we have amazing flowers bouquet. There's, I think, over 1,800 staff. Exactly. We have uh, Chef Suki and the Beverly Hilton, which has been putting on this event for, I believe, 19 years, is that correct? I'm oh my gosh, I think it's like 30 yeah. something, 30 something years. years. Yeah. Okay, so been here yeah. we love you, Beverly Hilton, and thank you. And Moet Chandon, 19 years. 19 years. That's fabulous. We're celebrating. So yeah. we're excited. We have floral arrangements, we have everything. I mean, this is the golden. Globes. Globes. I love it. And look at these little special about. ones that they're giving to all the celebrities as they come on the red now, carpet. This, this is when you're walking down the red carpet, you get your own, which I learned the hard way. This is actually what you sip out of. This is called a mini flute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I oh love wow. Oh my God. Somebody I is love bubbling, that. bubbling over with excitement. Wow. And um, actually, so you guys know, there's 1,300 people that will attend the party, dine with us, and then another 2,000 2, celebrities will be joining at the after party. Beverly Hills is a buzz. We, we are excited. It. And now we are going to figure out. Where is Caduce? I'm actually in the women's bathroom. Don't think I'm a creep. This is for journalistic purposes to show you where Julia Roberts will be handling her business. Meryl Streep, you know, all your favorite stars are going to be in here doing what they do, just like regular people do, except in a very beautiful bathroom. As you can see, the marble flooring, pretty in pink. This is definitely not your average setup for a bathroom, but this is how the Golden Globes do it. And right now, of course, it's very empty, but you're going to have all kinds of your favorite stars coming in here for a break in the most relieving sense. Now it's back to you guys. Thank you, Caduce on the loose. <laughs> now join me as we went backstage. I was fortunate enough to be the first one to try the menu at the Beverly Hilton for the Golden Globes. Let's take a look at what I got to see, the first behind the scenes. Let's see it. Fabulous. Excellent. Take the next turn right to your destination. She's amazing. You're amazing. Watch the Golden Globes, my friend, on NBC. Restricted access on the road. We are arriving in style. I know it looks empty now, but this is where the magic is gonna happen. We're at the Beverly Hilton Ballroom for the 2010 Golden Globe Awards. Here's the stage. Let's go, let's accept the award, you and I together. You will not trip on your dress, and you will walk like a lady. You will shake your globe, but very demure. I'd like to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press. It's just days before the Golden Globes, and we are here in the executive kitchen getting ready for what's gonna be the biggest event to start out 2010. I'm here with Suki, the executive chef, getting to see the menu. Yes, the food is having its own press junket before anyone else. Eggplant in a mozzarella roll. I have just seen the first course prepared. We continue for doing for the main course. That plate looks better than a supermodel in her best church clothes. Is this your first Golden Globe? No, this is number... Uh, what number? Five. How long ago did you start preparing the menu? It's a good six months ahead. Final decision is made by um, you know, tasting. I'm here, the first person at the table for the Golden Globes. Wonderful meal. I'm going to need some Moe Chandon, please. 
I'm here with Julia Fitzroy from Moet Chandon. Moet is the, the champagne of choice for Hollywood. How many bottles do you go through in one evening? We serve our mini Moets as guests arrive to the awards and we serve about a, a 1,500 of those. And this year we have these specially designed gold mini flutes. They allow guests to simply and elegantly sip their champagne directly from the bottle. Cheers! I'm here with world-renowned pastry chef Franya. I gotta try everything, Franya. I'm speechless. You're a genius. See you Sunday, January 17th at the Golden Globes on NBC. I will be arriving in style. I mean, right? I am so amazing. jealous. That it looked fabulous. Is amazing. So oh. everyone at home, you can have this party too. Get out your Moet à Chandon. Get out your gift bags. And let's go to Brandy and Randy and see what the fans are saying. And write to us on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, guys. It is so exciting. We're here live at the entrance to the red carpet at the Beverly Hilton where things are just buzzing. Before this, we actually got a chance to run backstage. We saw thousands of pieces of china being shipped in, the gift bags. The gift bags look pretty cool, huh? Yeah, they're pretty amazing. I, I mean, oh, to be a star, to get all that fabulous stuff. We're going to give a shout out to our friends at Palm and the pre that they're giving away to all the celebs. I wish we had some access to that. Can you guys work on that? <laughs> and the champagne, we've just been seeing bottles of Moe everywhere. It's yeah, Moet, speaking mm -hmm. of. Sorry, yesterday we had some tef technical difficulties with Ricky Gervais interview, but that was amazing. Sorry, mom, I saw you post, you were upset, you couldn't see me. <laughs> But, but it that was a pretty amazing interview, Randy. And you guys, if you stay tuned, we'll be showing that in 20 minutes. So, And you're in for a real treat. Just to, to give you a few yeah. highlights, we had a fantastic time. We interviewed Ricky in a hotel room at the Four Seasons. It started out, he was hilarious, hilarious to say the least. Mm -hmm. And to give you just a few, I don't want to give away too much, but um, a few topics we talked about were cats. He loves cats. Um, Facebook users who live with their mums, and his private toilet behind the scenes at the Golden Globe, which he's very excited about. <laughs> Doesn't have to wait in line. Lucky him. And Brandy even asked him the color of his underwear he was wearing. So did he reveal it or not? I don't know. You'll have to check in in 20 minutes. Tune in to see. <laughs> so from 2.30 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to be live all evening and uh, check in in 20 minutes for our Ricky Gervais interview. Yeah, back to you guys. Brandy and Randy, you gals are the best. Thank you so much for keeping us in the know. But right now, we are joined by two very special guests. This one right here, entertainment and fashion guru. She's always in the know, Merle Ginsburg, you, and the CEO of C Society Awards and the creator of the Golden Globe statuette. And of course, Jenny's here with us. We want to start with Merle. All right. You know it all. Who's wearing what? Who's dressed it and fit? What are, what's the scoop out there in the fashion world? Well, the scoop is that every designer in the world has a representative here in L.A. this week, and they are rushing around. Dresses are flying around town. Whatever dress people decided to wear back in December when the nominations came out, you can trust me, that is not what they're going to be wearing tomorrow. Usually, you know, people, first of all, the Golden Globes now is all about long. You're not going to see short long unless somebody's very, very young. Maybe Anna Kendrick could wear short. Right. But it's all going to be long. Couture gowns, a lot from Europe. I think we're going to see more French fashion than anything else. We've traditionally seen beautiful black gowns. That's considered the height of black tie. This year, I think we're going to see a lot of the pale group, champagne and white, because it really stands out, pops on camera. I do think we're going to see a lot of color this year. We're kind of over the red look. The red look happened this fall. It's tricky now because do you wear spring? You know, we're in the middle of January. Right in the middle of the season, yeah. Right. Do you wear fall from before? That's a very thing. Do you wear ready to wear? Do you wear couture? I think blue is going to be the big color. I think it's going to be one shoulder. Wow. All We've right. got the trends. Uh, well, let's take us over to yes, David. Let's do it. David, you created, you updated the 
uh, Golden Globe in 09, correct? This is the updated, beautiful version for 2010. And tell us about this year, the iconic award, which is going to be Rachel Zoe. You can vote on Facebook, Rachel Zoe's page, to nominate who's going to win the iconic award. That is stunning. Thank you. Um, we wanted to create something that was in dialogue with fashion. You know, so the here the intricacy of the lines uh, combined with the simplicity of the overall design, I think, is something that uh, I can achieve with fashion. We could achieve with this award, and it speaks to uh, to that component of it. Yeah. Excellent. Now, Merle, I'm wearing red, so I'm probably not going to win the iconic <laughs> award, but I'm going to go for it next year. But you have very, very dark hair and light skin, so. Red looks, it's going to look really good on you. And you know what? In the end, you're really going to wear what you love. That's right. You do. That's important. what fashion is about, it what you is. love and looking I beautiful. I want to ask you this. Stars, you're telling me stars change their mind on the day of the show. Oh, my God. They'll all have people like Penelope Cruz, Nicole Kidman, Kate Hudson, the giant fashion icons, Julianne Moore. These women have three to ten dresses. Now, remember it. They're also, this is award season. Right. But they are ready, and they've had a million designers trying to dress them. And they don't have to really account for what they do. They can right. change their mind at the last minute. So you won't know until the last minute tomorrow who's wearing what. No, and uh, even then we might not know. They could change their dress to go to a party. That's like me, Rose Taft Couture. I have two dresses. I'm going to try them on tomorrow. Whichever one goes, goes. Oh, you know? it's all about having more last than one minute. option. Yeah. Now, Bigger Merle, you're the most authoritative guide to fashion. You're out there. You're at fashionrules.com. Tell us, what is the number one fashion tip if you're having your own Golden Globe party out there? I would say really that uh, the one shoulder trend is the big showing shoulder, shoulder is this season's hot accessory. And I really do think it's about color. Shoulder and color. Yeah. Now, where are we going now? There's somebody crazy running around, right? I think that Caduce is on the loose once again. I think he might be chilling in a Chrysler. Let's check it out. I am now in the driveway of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. This is where all the stars are going to pull up to the red carpet to get into the big event. And, of course, they'll be pulling up in this nice Chrysler 300C. Kind of envious. I want one of my own. But tonight, today, we'll pretend like it's mine. And here is my stage driver, Riri, I call him. Go ahead, open that up for me, player. Thank you, sir. Back to you. Caduce, you bring electricity to this show. We love you. We never know where you're going to be. Coming back in, we want to remember, Merle is going to help us give this out. We're going to pick a star. You're going to pick a star. David created this gorgeous award. You go to Rachel Zoe Facebook, and you vote. And you, when the stars come down the carpet tomorrow, these two are going to vote. I'm going to vote. You're going to vote. We're going to vote. Who is the most fashionable female? This is a very male. important thing in the it world is. of entertainment these days. Fashion has a much higher place in the spectrum of what's important. It gets you on magazine covers. That's it's a right. whole other career. It is. And you did a beautiful yes, job. And hats off, David. I hats mean, off. There's yes. going to be a lot Merle, of these You're going to get this tomorrow out tomorrow, night. okay? You're going to. I hope I don't stab someone. Yeah. We want to check in with Brandy and Randy and see what folks are saying about fashion because fashion is it. Fashion is what we most look forward to on this carpet. Brandy and Randy, what have you got for us? We're back at the very beginning of the red carpet in Merle. I like your fashion predictions off the shoulder, a little color. Do you think I got it going yeah, on? You're rock totally rocking all the so. fashion styles Thanks. this year. And we saw that very dangerous fashion icon award. <laughs> I thought it looked awesome, like out of Batman with the spikes. You could really, you know, a disgruntled celebrity who didn't win could do a little damage with that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's sharp. Uh, but we also want to acknowledge some of the great comments that we have pouring in. We have our computers here. So I want to give a shout out to Claire Domenico, who's been chiming in with some great thoughts. Also, Antonio, who's logging in all the way from Ireland to watch us today. He's jealous of the sun that we're having out here. Uh, so thanks, Antonio. And, and we hope the sun stays. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's so. right. So people are also talking a little bit about some of the controversial nominations and things going on. What do you think? Well, I, Jacqueline Barker, I wanted to say, she thinks Robert Downey Jr. is going to win for Best Actor. So I want to give her a shout out because she's on the Golden Globes page on Facebook. So That's thanks, right. Jacqueline. And as you can see, we are on a live red carpet where they're working Drill. away. They are drilling. It doesn't even stop for Brandy and I talking. They have places to be, things to do, and they're stapling the red carpet. So they're they're so we're back on. tomorrow at 2.30 all day and all night. And I don't think there's going to be drills tomorrow, 
but <laughs> we're going to have a long day and you're going to be with us. That's so right. tune in and keep posting on Facebook. Keep on the voting Gold for fashion icon as well. On the Rachel Zoe page on Facebook. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Brandy and Randy. And thank you to all of you who are on Facebook telling us exactly what you want to see and all the questions you have for your favorite stars. Right now, I'm here with music expert Laura Troy. She's going to talk to us a little bit about the music categories of the Golden Globes, as well as Internet Wiz Andrew from Dig.com, one of my favorite websites, by the way. As I was just discussing with Andrew earlier, these category these excuse me these categories are so diverse we have cinema italiano but for the movie nine we have i will see you by paul mccartney for everybody's fine the weary kind sung by americana singer ryan bingham i see you by james horner for the huge movie avatar and winter by everybody's favorite irish band u2 well, i know that james horner has won many awards obviously u2 and paul mccartney are going to get some attention just based on their notoriety alone Absolutely. Uh, you know but i happen to really enjoy cinema italiano because I, I got to see the whole musical number acted out so no, i would think that has a good chance i absolutely agree i loved hearing kate hudson sing this song i love seeing actors really coming out of their comfort zone and doing something completely different. Mm -hmm. I think she really killed it on this one. Now, Andrew, you get to see, one of the great things about what you do is you get to see what everyone else around the U.S. cares about and is buzzing about. What are they talking about as far as Golden Globes are concerned? Has there been talk about, about the song at all, Kate Hudson and some of these other actresses that kind of branched out and showed us their vocal abilities? A little bit. You know, you get online and if there's conversations about actresses you know it'll often come down to just the hottest actress uh, out especially okay. on dig that you're going to hear lots of stories about megan fox or uh, you know right. let's be honest what does it take to make the front page of, of dig well you were just telling me about uh, something that you made a while back that had the word booby in the title that may help you get on the front page of dig but uh this this year um avatar uh has been on the top page for uh many many different stories anything ranging from there was a story called damn avatar already made its money back uh, and there was one called uh, which is really impressive yeah right uh deleted navi sex scene might make it to avatar dvd so about that. if the stories of dig on dig are any indication avatar has over ten thousand stories about it on dig i think it's probably got a pretty good so Chance maybe we for will best see, picture. and maybe, maybe we will see James Horner take it home again for, mm -hmm. for I songs. I hope so. He's the James Cameron go-to guy for scores and songs, so we'll see. All right, well, I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. But right now, let's check in with Caduce, because we know that Caduce is on the loose somewhere here at the Beverly Hilton. He is our insider. Caduce, what's going on? I'm now on the rooftop of the Beverly Hilton where one of the six after parties is going to go down. This is going to be the NBC one, and as you can see, this is definitely a big production. Disco balls, DJ equipment, all kinds of rigging. As you can see in here, this is the tent where everybody's going to be partying and drinking excessively, and we'll be bringing you some exclusive coverage of it. And here is where it's all going to go down. There's purple, maybe Prince will perform, I don't know, <laughs> but it will be a good time and we'll bring it to you tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Caduce, it looks like you're having fun over there at the after party, NBC after party. Hopefully I'll be able to make it out after the show <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here thank and talking you. with thank us. You. Uh, Laura, you are the go-to gal for music. I've talked with Laura at other award shows, and you really know what you're talking about. So thank I guess we'll see so what happens. Much. I guess so. Uh, you know what? So one tradition that's been really popular every single year, it's, it's always something that's talked about, and maybe people are talking about it on dig.com, is Miss Golden Globes. It's a, a daughter of a celebrity that has chosen to give out all of the awards at the show. Some of the past Miss Golden Globes include Rumor Willis, Melanie Griffith, and this year is Mavis Spencer. And we wanted to give you guys a special inside look at Mavis Spencer and her new Miss Golden Globes title. Hey, it's Caduce here at Nobu, West Hollywood. We're about to find out who Miss Golden Globe is for this year. The Hollywood Foreign Press is going to break the news right here. Let's check it out. 2010 Miss Golden Globe, Mavis Spencer. Congratulations, you are Miss Golden Globe. How does it feel? Um, it's still a little surreal, it hasn't really hit me yet. That's been a little intimidating. Well, I think Mavis makes a lovely Miss Golden Globes and she'll do a fabulous job. What do you guys Absolutely. think? Absolutely. She's Definitely. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. I want to see more of that bling bling that Michelle and Rebecca were telling me about earlier today. I know that Ginny is hanging out with them right now at a table worth millions of dollars in jewels. I want to be there. Jenny? 
Thank you, Taryn. I'm here with the bling bling, and I got a little wing ding, and I'm here with my girls, Michelle and Rebecca from Chic Little Devil. Every woman feels better dripping in diamonds or some kind of beautiful jewels. Girls, are there's going to be an amazing, how much money do you think is going to be on the red carpet tomorrow night oh, in diamonds? And as much as they spent on Avatar, I imagine. Wow. <laughs> a so, lot. Uh, so to recoup that, we got to get to a half a billion. So guys, get your pocketbooks out and uh, tell us about these amazing accessories that you have here. I think we're going to play a little game, yeah, correct? Yeah, I think the best way to showcase these would be yes. to see if you can tell the real from the faux, from the super okay. duper real. So we, we have these three lovely models here. One of them's wearing a Ramona Cavesia evening gown like you might see on the carpet tomorrow. And these two are dressed for an after party. You know, they look beautiful. I, I can't tell if I like the brunette, redhead, or blonde the best, yeah. but. <laughs> She's sexy in this area. So I need to know what's the most expensive. Exactly, so if you could step out just a little, you could just check out the jewels. Okay. Can you see them? I'm gonna go one. Ha most people? expensive? Yep. Okay. Uh, two, three. Got it. Well, unfortunately, you pretty much have it backwards. Okay. <laughs> I'm also wearing red tomorrow night, which is completely wrong. So for all you out there that are wrong, come fly with Jenny. Okay? I, I love it. This actually, right over here, she's wearing about 80,000 in jewels. Nice. So she's got some 18 karat Victorian gold cuffs up at the top. She's got a 14 karat gold ball necklace. Over here, she's got some vintage jade. So she's wearing about 4,000 in jewels. Okay. And down here, she's got this look with only $300. Look, 300, but looking good. Exactly. Right? So this is a really <laughs> so good. She can pay off her student loans if we hawk her. <laughs> she's, uh, you know, looking good, rolling uh, for a big sushi dinner. Exactly. And she's going to have a, a nice time at, at Sioux Plantation. Um, okay, uh, and these here are cigars. Tell us about yeah, those. Yeah, while Rebecca changes, this look was our pop of color. She's going to change to oh. our diamonds are our girl's best friend look. And in the meantime, I want to see that. Let's show the that's everybody the, out there. Look at that. That's, that's called a that's, half moon of love. That's exactly, what I'm going to name it. Exactly. Yep. That is the 10 carat diamond tennis earring. But don't think we forgot to accessorize you gentlemen. Oh, we have wow. the most expensive cigar in the world. It's the Louis. This is a Louis. It's a Rosado tobacco. This is what you do, right? Mm, and it's pink. Isn't it cute how it's pink? So for you winners, you can celebrate in style with these, gentlemen. Okay. And then one more accessory for the ladies that sometimes we don't think of. It's the bunny perfume. Two oh, ounces. Bunny. Have you heard of bunny? I have. Try haven't, it. Try it on yourself. Bunny. Two ounces goes for $2,500. Oh my gosh, I just spray that much. <laughs> Sorry. You owe me. You owe me five hundred dollars. I'll okay, bill you. Great, great. Five hundred. <laughs> We're gonna bill me for bunny. Really floral. So a bunny and a Louie, and you're a good time. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Let's see, Brandy. Randy, write in with your questions to us about bunnies and jewels. Uh, back to you guys. Thanks, everybody, for all your updates on the live stream of our broadcast today. I wanted to give a shout out to James Wilson, who is watching from Australia. On the web, we are truly global, and we hope all of you are going to tune in tomorrow at 2.30 from around the world. That's right. It's been so exciting to see hundreds, thousands of comments pouring in from people. I also want to acknowledge Beryl, who said she's really excited, hopeful that you, too, is going to win tomorrow. And that's actually something interesting to talk about. People on Facebook love music, and U2 is, I think, in the top five most popular bands on Facebook. So if if Facebook was going to pick a band to win tomorrow, it would, it would be U2. Definitely would be U2. Although I really hope Leona Lewis looks good tomorrow after uh, taking our stylist. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, wait, we also want to say hi to Janet in Miami. That's Thanks right. for posting. <laughs> Ariel, who's uh, at Dick Clark Productions, that's his mom in Miami so hi Janet thanks for watching <laughs> thanks for watching and Sherry Frazier we love the brand ran epitaph maybe I that's gonna know. have to stick with us we need to take that to the streets <laughs> we have our own show so I thank think you so. I think so so Ricky Gervais is coming up next I think we're just minutes away so you have to catch that that's right interview it is hysterical and awkward and funny it is <laughs> besides brandy he's the most famous person that i've ever spoken to <laughs> so wow it, that's sad <laughs> <laughs> but very excited you get to hear all about his private toilet backstage at the golden globe right. no one else is allowed to use it no lines yeah, for ricky kind of, gervais he's kind of obsessed with the toilet thing he is but obsessed. see for yourself and you'll get to see that firsthand in just a few minutes yeah uh, keep posting on Facebook. Again, tomorrow we're with you all day. Well, almost all day and all night. 2.30 onward, we're going to have 
fashion, we're gonna have film, we're gonna have celebrities, we're gonna have behind the scenes look at everything. <laughs> and who gets to win the Fashion Icon Award? Absolutely. So back to you, Julie. Brandy and Randy, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. We love checking in with you. How exciting has this day been? Amazing. It's going to be an insane night. We all want you to tune in tomorrow, tonight. Keep your computer on. We've got less than 24 hours to go, you guys. I can't all this that. preparation. And are your dre is your here. dress ready? My dress is ready. Oh, oh my gosh. It's ready. I'm wearing red, so I know I'm on the worst dress list and feeling good about <laughs> no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. We have had so much fun. Caduce is great. Don't we la love Caduce joining us? Caduce, you've been on the loose and being a goose, and we love you for it. <laughs> and thank you to all our panelists and all our experts, and the buzz is buzzing. But okay? they're gonna, everyone will be back tomorrow. Just remember tomorrow, everything you want to know about backstage, red carpet, fashion, press room, we are the place to come. It's this here. Don't leave your computer, NBC.com, and you can watch the live show and the internet. That's what's great about 2010. That's it's true. Like two perspectives. We're going to be like in your living room, on your, on your lap, your actually, pleasure, on Double your pleasure, double your fun, NBC.com and NBC. And don't forget, you guys are more than welcome. We encourage you to interact with us. You can go into Facebook.com slash Golden Globes, send us your comments, send us your questions. Brandy and Randy will be there disseminating through all of it. So get involved. This is your award show just as, just as much as it is ours. So <laughs> from 2.30 until the wee hours of the night, we will be with you with the stars, backstage, gossip, scoop, everything you want to know. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. We'll be here with you all day tomorrow. Nine hours of nonstop coverage. You're going to get a VIP behind the scenes exclusive from the red carpet. I will be on the red carpet, rather, the blue carpet. Brandy is going to be talking one on one to some of your favorite celebrities. We're, we have Kudus hiding all over the place. We have Julie speaking to celebrities. We have people all over nine and Jenny hours. Jenny on the bleachers. That's right, Jenny on the bleachers. We're going to be taking you. Uh, on stage, behind the stage, to all the parties. It's, it's going to be terrific. And we promised you. Next is Ricky Gervais. Stay tuned. You have to see the interview. It's so funny. It's up next. It's great. Hey, everybody. I am Taryn Southern. Right now, we are live at the newly renovated Four Seasons Hotel Los Angeles in Beverly Hills. We're just two days away from D-Day. That's right, the big 67th annual Golden Globe Awards. It's going to be amazing. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing Ricky Gervais, the incredibly funny and lovable host of this year's show. And please let me introduce two beautiful ladies I have here with me today, Randy and Brandy from Facebook. They are here to ask all of your questions to Ricky himself. How are you guys doing? Doing great. We're excited to be here and we are live on Facebook now. So we are your voice here asking Ricky questions. I love it. We got the laptop here and everything. <laughs> and I think we got Ricky right behind the door. Oh, I hear a doorbell ringing. Should I go answer it? <laughs> or is there someone available to... Oh, oh my God. And himself. He is here. Come wow. on in. Ricky, how are you? We are live. Uh, this is fun, getting all sure. mic'd up live, right? Want to feed that up your shirt? Just to... Yeah. Just to. How are you? Very well, thank you. We don't want to get Very naked good. or anything in front of the, the live audience oh. uh, on Facebook. Oh, um, they might actually enjoy that. <laughs> well, this is weird. <laughs> Do, I know, do, right? There's no... There's do it yourself TV. Of, yeah. Brilliant. We're all about that here. Lots of awkward moments. Right we, here for the face. Oh, that's my job. Way back to the elevator. Yes. That's I'm right. So on the way up. Yes. And now I'm on the way down. No. <laughs> no. Two days away. We're yeah. Two days away. Are you excited? Like, what's going through your head right now? Yeah. Um, this, is, this is me excited. <laughs> this is as, <laughs> this is as frenzied as it gets. We're not going to have you jumping on any couches. Uh... I'm, uh, if I'm drunk, maybe, but um, the I'm going to try not to get drunk before, at least before the monologue. Okay. That's my watershed. <laughs> if the monologue goes okay, I'll celebrate. Shots backstage. Exactly, yeah. I, I, I'm there for you. 
<laughs> well, I think knowing your track record, you'll be just fine. Or in comparison to doing films and TV, what is this like for you? Is it more stressful, less stressful? Um, well, it's, I suppose it's more stressful in the sense that it, it's live and you can't, you know, do it again. Um, this is more stressful. I mean, <laughs> it's weird that there's people in a hotel. There's guys over there sort of like chatting away. There's people at the door going, but I mean, this is, I'm in my pajamas. I mean, it's, it's not normal, is it? It's a little strange, but at least we're... I mean, uh, doing the Golden Globes is more normal than this. Yeah, we are in a hotel room. <laughs> there are some weird guys back there, but we're, we're doing okay. Um, thousands so, of people on Facebook also. Who are well, they're, they're weird as well. They should get a life. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing logging on, looking at me in pajamas in a hotel room in Los Angeles? They have questions for you. They do they? Were they yeah. frosty to you? What do they, right. Why do they care? <laughs> They love you. You've got tons of fans on Facebook. Okay. Are you on Facebook? I'm going to start being no, I'm not, no. Okay. Well, Randy and Brandy no. are from Facebook, and okay. they're going to start... Did I insult them as well? I didn't say they were weird, did I? <laughs> There's only 350 million people on Facebook that you insulted. It's okay. Yeah, yeah but they have no power, <laughs> do they? Oh, I don't know. They live with their nans, and they're logging on. <laughs> Guys, how do you feel about that at home? <laughs> I'm joking. That I'm joking. <laughs> He's saving face. I'm going to have a revolt. So well, let's hear from the We fans. have a question from Karen in LA, who's somewhere out there. And she wants to know, what's the best... I wouldn't be surprised if she's in here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is. There's about 13 people here to do a website. Karen, There's not many of these people. NASA. They didn't take this many people to put a... Rocket on the moon. <laughs> what is going on? Facebook? What is... F I mean... They're taking over the world. Really? You're taking over the world. My name is Charlie. This is my cat. I live with my mum. Do you want to be my friend? No. <laughs> I want to be his friend. Ignore. Okay. Ignore. I love yeah. Charlie. I love his cat and I love his mum. So All right, let's, let's go. Let's hear what Karen has to say. Okay. What's the best part about hosting a show like the Golden Globes beside the alcohol? That was um, my ad right. Uh... <laughs> Well, you can keep nipping backstage, and it's quicker to go backstage to the toilet because I've got my own. Whereas if you're in the, you have to go, to, you know, you have to go past people. Hi, Tom. Uh, yeah, Jack. Shush. I'm on the way to the toilet. You know what I mean? Yeah, Meryl, save it. Whereas if you're backstage, I can just go straight to the toilet. I've got my own toilet. I've got my own toilet. That's the best thing about being the host. So, Karen, you heard it. Toilet access. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm like the Queen of England. Yeah. She. You know what? This is true with the Queen of England. Okay, if, if she opens like a big building, an important building, they build a toilet especially for it in case she needs a wee. And if, and if she d um, doesn't use it, I, sometimes they destroy it and it can cost thousands of pounds. So no one else uses it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. If she's on Facebook... <laughs> Then you'll, what, then you'll join. What, why can wasn't I... I missed the New Year's, New Year's Honours list again. <laughs> Sir Ricky Gervais. What's it going to take? It's got a ring to it, hasn't it? That's, that sounds pretty good, Sir Ricky Gervais. Think about it, Liz. Go on. It's great. So we have Sharon from Connecticut who says that she does not live with her mom and she doesn't own a cat. <laughs> oh so. my God, it's that far. This is <laughs> yeah, real. It's wow. So, That's um, amazing. And she wants to know. I'm, I'm you know, coming round to this. This is pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Time. It's, it's yeah. exciting. And she wants to know, what is your pre-globes beautification routine? I usually just wipe the pizza from my face <laughs> and put a suit on. <laughs> I do have to ask and follow up to that if you if you eat something like if there's something that you don't eat maybe rather the day of that could be a danger food before oh. these big shows. Uh, I was um, no, I haven't got any rituals or I mean I, I probably um, you know have something quite light in case I'm so nervous that I <laughs> I throw up beans on toast <laughs> or all over Robert De Niro or something. Um, no, uh, I. I I, it's it, you know I, I do the normal things really I, I get up I wash every day anyway sometimes twice so yeah you're clean. yeah I'm very clean I'm very very clean beans um, on toast could make good blooper reels for years to come though I I know yeah it could it could be yeah I think about it I, I maybe I'll create some controversy no I just have, I just have lunch and then you know pop the old tuxedo on at about midday that's normal um, and then uh, you know wander around the red carpet for a while and go on and, and do my thing. So no, no rituals, I'm not superstitious no or anything. No, well, again, I, I wash and, you know, that's about as He's good as it he gets. Looks so yeah, good. yeah, I, I do my own Botox. Mm. Wow, savvy. Savvy. Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. These for the first few weeks, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> 
So Jeff from Fargo, North Dakota, mm -hmm. wants to know, other than yourself, who do you think is the funniest comedian in TV and film? Louis C.K. Brilliant. My favorite uh, stand-up probably in the world at the moment, certainly in America. Um, he's brave. He's, he's clever. It's just, it's just great. It's really great. It's, you know, I, I just, I love his stand-up. And um, he was in um, The Invention of Lying as my sort of slobby friend. Um, mm -hmm. I think I hang around with him as well because he's a bigger, fatter, uglier slob than me. <laughs> and is he funnier? Uh, yeah, no. probably. Yeah. Maybe we should have had him. I know, I'm thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but he doesn't even wash. <laughs> oh, well, at least... At least I'm clean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a big, fat, bald ginger freak. <laughs> At least we know that there's a lot of honesty and openness in this room. Absolutely. You've got to be honest. You can't, you, you can't hide it. Oh, I know what's coming over here. Come on. Come on. You want to come in, don't you? Come yes, on. you do. Oh, apparently my microphone is not working, so I'm going to talk into this mic. All right. There you have it. Hopefully that won't happen to That's you a first. on Sunday That's, night. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just keep talking. Right. Yeah, so we got more questions pouring in. We have Jessica from Portland, who seems a little uh, fixed on the, the alcohol that we were talking about earlier. So right. she wants to know, do they really serve as much champagne as it looks like on TV? Yes. Yeah. And those people in that room, I mean, they're already billionaires, but they love free stuff. You see them in the, in the luxury, running around, getting things they never wear and use. They haven't even paid for the things they're wearing. They've got free earrings and stuff. Yeah, and they just drink it. I mean, they could afford to take their own champagne or, or just say, I'll, I'll save this and have it. Like, no, yeah, it's, it's really free-flowing. And um, right. I think it seems like the, the time they let their hair down in public. Do you know what I mean? I suppose they've got to be very careful usually, but mm -hmm. it, it's more like an industry party than an award show. And most of the award shows are quite stuffy. You know, you sit in your seats, you've got seat fitters. If you go to the toilet, you've got to wait to the next interval to come back. Um, but you and don't. You don't have to wait. No, I can go. I'll, I'll be, I'll be urinating throughout the show. When anyone, when whenever, whenever there's a presenter on, I go. I'm gonna have another wee. At least you know when you can fit it in. Exactly. exactly. I don't know what that means. What? Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> What's another question from the Facebookers? So, from NBC.com. Right. Um, Hold on, I thought that was you. Well, we're also sharing with What, you haven't had enough emails out of 300 million people they with nothing to do? You have to make up really, questions for them. This is terrible. The Golden Globe. Oh, <laughs> no, we haven't even sold it out and it's free. <laughs> They're, they're all just so offended about the cat comment. I was they joking. I, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I was joking. I love you all. I love cats. I love mums. I love, it's, Charlie, what, yeah. it's what America was built on. Cats <laughs> and truly, truly. God bless America <laughs> and all the nerds in it. All right, so let's get this last question from NBC.com. <laughs> so Anna from Miami, Florida wants yeah. to know. Dexter country. <laughs> Right. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? That I was hosting the Golden Globe this Sunday. <laughs> Who would do that? Yeah. That's crazy. Who would ever offer me that know. job? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's been a big hoax, I'm afraid. Your host is um, Conan. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's me. First. Um, we, don't oh, want, we don't want that. Uh, what rumours? I suppose there's little rumours all the time that I'm doing this film and that film and they just, I don't know where they come from. I think someone just makes it up and it gets out there. But I've, I haven't heard any really, really bad things. Like, you know, I, 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 know, um, like I, hate, I hate cats and nerds and mums or something like that. <laughs> Ricky Gervais hates the nerds of we America. We wouldn't want that rumour to They're get not out. nerds. I was joking. You're, you're like, you're like, okay. you're like Chloe from... 24 or, or Jack Bauer. That's it's cool to do this. I was joking. It's brilliant. Well, we haven't seen you pantyless or anything like that. I show my pants so. on um, Ellen today, though. We oh. recorded it yesterday, and I do because I was wearing Almo pants, and I just wanted to I wanted to show yes. America <laughs> my Almo pants. Leading to the <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not a rumor. It's true. I was wearing Almo pants. What kind do you have on today? <laughs> uh, just 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 blue boxer shorts. Oh. In, real. in depth <laughs> news reporting there. You're like Katie Couric. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh dear. Very serious. 
Brilliant. <laughs> and on that note, look, I know that you have to go because you've got a ton of people to see and a ton of stuff to do before the awards show. We thank yeah. you so much for stopping by in our studio. I'm going to go and pump some iron yeah. now. <laughs> Seriously. And uh, have cheek implants. What? We'd love that. Yeah. We'll, we'll be there reporting on it every step of the way. Thank you. So and thank you for coming. Are we, is the people still, still watching? You. Yes. We're going we're gonna to really? keep the show going live for another 15 minutes. So you're going to awkwardly get up and do Were they real questions? On, yes. On are we really online? Or does that poor no. person, is he just watching telly in the background? We're, we are really <laughs> online. We're live right now. Well, Facebook. thank you. I was joking. I love you all. <laughs> It's okay. Thank you so much. Richard. My pleasure. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank we you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, we're still. Bye, live. everyone. Oh, Thank sorry. You're still. It's what you're just doing? I what? said it was awkward. You're going to have a D mic while we're live. This is <laughs> weird. This is what? A new way of people just. Free this doesn't acting. happen usually. I like it though. It's like a weird <laughs> dream. Bye, <laughs> well, Ricky. All right. Good luck. You're going to do awesome. <laughs> That was uh, Ricky, everyone, uh, <laughs> and he had a fun time, I think. <laughs> Not yeah, Conan, right? I yeah. know. And thanks to everyone who submitted questions for Ricky. Yeah. One of the things I did want to get to is the Fashion Icon Award, which is something that is mm. that we're giving out this year. It's a special award for the best dressed celebrity on the red carpet this Sunday, and it's something that you guys get a vote on, which is what makes it so. Cool. Anyway, you guys can stay tuned, watch the show on Sunday, see everyone that's coming on the red carpet, and then you'll mm -hmm. be able to go and fill out a form online saying who your favorites were, your nominees, and from there we will be able to hand out the award. So uh, I just wanted to bring that up because that is a really important part of the show on Sunday. Yeah. And it's best dressed for male and female, so be checking out those texts. That's right, and Ricky was pretty well dressed right here, so you know, you may want to be in his voting. Pajamas. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So there you have it, our live interview with Ricky Gervais from yesterday. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we hope it was worth the wait. Was it everything you were expecting? It was pretty funny. You guys have to admit, right? It, we did. We had a great time <laughs> filming with Ricky yesterday. So we're back tomorrow, 2.30 onward, for nine hours out here on the red carpet behind the scenes. I'll be in the lounge. Randy will be on the blue carpet. That's right. It's pretty exciting out here. Ryan Seacrest just arrived behind us. Quite a buzz. Lots of fans. Yep. And uh, so there'll be lots more celebrity action coming tomorrow. And we will be bringing that to you live for nine hours. Uh, we're thrilled. Rachel Zoe, tell us what, yes. what do we want people Fashion to do. Fashion Icon Award. You guys select it. Best dress for male, best dress for female. Rachel Zoe's page on Facebook. Go there. Tell us what you think and vote. Who gets to win the axe? I mean, yeah, the trophy. Dangerous, <laughs> dangerous it sharp, trophy. But it is awesome. Yeah. So, thanks so much. Give us your questions, everything, and we cannot wait to be live with you tomorrow. It's been a big year of stars and a big year of movies. Which of your favorites will get the Golden Globe? Julie Roberts, Steve Carell, Tobey Maguire, Sandra Bullock, Morgan Freeman, Alec Baldwin, Jeff Bridges, Kevin Bacon, Penelope Cruz, Glenn Close, Matt Damon. The biggest stars of film and TV looking all thin with their perfect teeth and their wonderful hair. Ooh, aren't we brilliant? Ricky Gervais hosts the Party of the Year, the Golden Globe Awards, live Sunday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on NBC. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Zoe, knee deep in Golden Globes mayhem here, and I'm so excited because for the first time ever, I'm going to present the Fashion Iconic Award to the most stylish male and female celebrities to walk the Golden Globes red carpet. The best part is that you, the viewers, get to decide who the winners will be. Cast your vote this Sunday by going to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Rachel Zoe. It's the only place you can vote. Until then, send us all of your comments about who you think will win as we gear up for the 2010 Golden Globes Red Carpet Live this Sunday, January 17th. Every story has a story. It's born, it's nurtured, it grows. And if it's strong and unique and true, that story becomes part of our own. Chrysler invites you to stay tuned for the presentation of the Golden Globe for Best Picture Drama.